Hey you folks, Quilly Team here, and welcome to some more Let's Play Underlords! But, you know, with the Jailbirds here, it might be nice to do, like, a daily video or something. I don't know if that's going to be the case. Um, but because, because it's going to be a little bit different every single time. Also, it's a nice little um, first thing in the morning warm-up video for me. Uh, just to, just to get the, the blood pumping uh, before we, uh, we kick in some of the other Let's Plays. Interesting jail today. Not a single assassin, not a single insect is locked away. Um... The only inventor is Gyrocopter, who's a powerful one, but there's no, like, with the Scrappies and all that, like, there's a possibility. Um, with Luna, Knights are not very tempting. Legion Commander gets locked away a lot. I don't know, like, I suspect it might be part of their AI that they use to, like, do this, because she only has one real alliance. It might make it easier for her to be locked away. No Pudge is interesting, because Pudge sees a lot of play. Anyway, I was thinking That's I'd go Hobgen, and sort of, um... Maybe Scrappy Assassins. Like, Scrappies have self-healing, so maybe Anisix doesn't, isn't needed as much. I like Hobgen as well. He's very entertaining. He's also an underdog, you know. He's an underdog underlord. So, we do have a daily challenge to get um, evasives. I know I, st I have the the global items. We have to think to get evasives. Well, if we do go Assassins, I mean, they're literally three assassin, uh, three evasive assassins. Well, how do we build around more of that? I mean, I don't know if we need to build around more than just that. What do you boom, boom, boom. We go find something Even though it's 9.30 in the morning on a weekday? Amazes me how fast these queues are. Oh my god, this is the first time I've seen a balance between the two Underlords. Crazy sauce. Well, I'm not going to do any lock. The bounty for Scrappy is this... I mean, there's there's... Two, there's just a bunch of good ways to go. We'll, we'll do, we'll grab you. I mean, we could, I was going to say, I'm not going to lock because there's no, there's no immediate two star. But there is a lot of good stuff on this board, but no, we're not going to lock. Because ideally what we get is maybe on a reroll we get two bounty hunters. Maybe we'll still see Nyx assassins. We'll see. I still don't think, like, every time I think about it, six assassins never feels... I don't know, that, it's it's such a high risk, like, if you could do it and count that you'll live long enough to get your faceless void to sort of complete it, that's pretty good. Um, shame, let's step back down to 7, eh? It was 10 for a while. I think the 50% magic resistance, health regen doesn't mean much, though. You know what, I'll just get the armor. I guess we'll nix Tusk. I'll just throw Tusk up there. I don't really want to go and do Bloodbound stuff. Um, Shadow Demon's not bad. His, his ability's cool. He is Heartless as well. I think we'll do this. Now, originally with the, the big patch or whatever that changed the Savage to this, I think the, the, uh, the damage was a lot higher. I think it was 15 at the top end. So was it like... It could have been 5, 10, 15, I think. It was really strong. Has been nerfed. It's, not, it's still not bad. If we get the um, the gloves of gloves of haste, is that what they're called? Might incentivize a little bit there. There's the gloves of haste. That being said, I don't think it's as powerful as some of these other. Do we take an Aegis? No, Aegis doesn't help us win stuff. The force staff is mixed bag, but can do some neat things. Yes, sure. I mean, I guess we do that just because we have the mana for it. I think the thing to do here is to activate Savage. I don't think the positioning is good because I'll have to I'll have to move anyway. Yeah. Um no one of Savage is in jail either. Interesting. Very interesting. Although there's no... There's no sound for assassin? Really? Huh. Blink is quite nice. Especially late game. There's a lot of good things you can do with this. I think I will do this. Although I'm talking about, oh, savages and attack speed and whatever, but... I am the wizard's babe. I think for now, I'll just activate the warriors. Like 
exist. We're not going down. We could grab more flame, but I don't know. I mean, we have an elemental, but like the the tier one elemental bonus doesn't doesn't float my boat, you guys. Even demons will die in my flame. You think I'm afraid of the yeah, two star is gonna kind of beat us, regardless of a we have activated the synergy. Having a two star is pretty strong. Also, early game Anisix is a lot better. The uh, her heal bomb is actually crazy. I'm betting I have a better, like, overall, like, win completion and stuff with Anisix than Hobgen. I just like Hobgen. Okay, that's nice. Do I just want to put in a three star or a two star? I don't know. I guess we'll do this. We have two stars on the board. God, there's you. We can buy two. You're not bad. You know, let's do that. And that. I mean, I like the insects a lot. You know, if we just kept stacking high, um. High health people, we could get fire. No, um, kaboom on round 15. So, when a super charge unit dies, it explodes doing 20% of its max health in an AoE. It's a shame we don't have Pudge. Pudge is in jail because he's got so many hit points and he's a warrior, so it all sort of fits together. Let's level up. Let's try to go for some win streaking here. Um, No one, no one's a thing that can complete anything. I don't know, I guess I'll do that. Or, you know what, let's put in another tusk, because you will get the warrior bonus, and you do do some damage. Alright, he's gonna eat. Which is not gonna result in the stun, because uh, that's kind of unfortunate. Slark sort of moved out of the way. On the other hand, we will get to just smash the shit out of her. She just used her ability to heal her allies, but it does get her for 20% health. Um, the extra health uh, hype generation, which is what happens when you kill the enemy Underlord, doesn't matter because we've already activated all our hype abilities because we don't have an ultimate. Oh, okay, that's pretty big. I mean, we did level up for it, but we might... This is some good early game stuff. Early game, the warrior synergy is really nice. I mean, it's always kind of nice. And then having the two stars... Now that is interesting. I could sell my way up to 10, but I don't think I like that. I'd have to sell everything on my board. Which, I mean, you're a solo, you're a solo. You're not a solo, though. You're not necessarily a critical part of our strat, either. Okay, let's, let's do this. Look, more people to punch. I don't think I want any of these guys. I mean, I could buy them, because, like, why not, and then sell them again, but I really don't think there's going to be anything that's going to put us in that direction. Yeah, it's going to go fairly well. The thing is, a Hobgen's pretty good for some damage early, and then has the two-star bounty is pretty good, too. So we have a lot of tough dudes, and then a handful of, you know, sources of really good damage. Wind streaking, that's nice. I mean, I don't know where this is going to go. This is going to do fairly well for, you know, another couple of rounds. Um, but then start to fall off dramatically in the teens. Unless we get something. But I don't know what that something is going to be. I don't know what our, <laughs> what our comp is going to look like. Uh, speaking of looking, we're doing a poor job of actually seeing what other people are doing. All right. That's a knight's knights. A little hunter there. This is nothing. Um, and we really... Do I want to re-roll here? Not really. It's too early for a re-roll. And it's not like there's anything a re-roll would give us immediately anyway. So, 
We may as well just sit. Um, I am ready. Anyway, here. You need a Let's see what happens. Like we are gonna win this one again. Bounty died early, but yeah. So we don't have the heal of Anna Six, but we do have some really tanky people. If we had Anna Six, then they really would never die. But I, I, we wouldn't do as much damage. Hobjin does do better damage on his own. Still win streaking. Still just a level one, unfortunately. Um, there's some night healer stuff. Uh, what we're gonna do is, okay, we're definitely gonna sell you. Um, we're gonna sell you. Yeah, we're not gonna do the healer stuff here. No. We're gonna sell you. We're gonna sit on 20. And buy the Timber Saw, Omni Knight. Maybe the CM. I could, I mean, the, so now the human bonus is it generates mana. So CM instead has an actual spell. And it's not bad. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. So, I mean, these are all still fairly sellable. I mean, really, everything on our bench is not comboing with anything. Well, that's not true. We could activate Scrappy. And actually, that might be worthwhile doing. Replacing the one Tusk with Timber Saw. I mean, Tusk gets the benefit of the plus 10 armor. But one of the two Scrappies would get the benefit of 9 armor. And that's, we should get the 2 interest, right? We were at 20. And we're the only person on a win streak. Okay, this is going very well. But again, this is very early gamey. This, there's no, there's no reason to think this is going to, this is going to combo into anything strong. I think the fire break's the way to go, or... That's the wrong one. Um, anyway, it's level 15, I was thinking. When enemy dies, man is distributed. Eh. Sets more things on fire. Damage We don't need the damage reduction, because we've got tough units. So we'll go burning down the house. Um, yeah. Not really interested in anything here. We may as well grab the CM, because it keeps us at 20. I mean, if we wanted mages, we could grab Ogre Magi, but... I don't think that's what's going on. I mean, it won't be our second mage anyway. This round should go fine. What kind of stuff are we looking for? Well, if we're naturally tanky, then I would normally think it would be nice to pick up some damage items. Because our damage is going to fall off. If we could throw a damage item on, on um, Bounty Hunter would be nice. Although, I would also really like the um, uh, spiky armor thing. Armor of Thorns. Uh, what's that called? It's not, it's not any of those words. Because that's nice to put on a generally tanky comp. Although, what is our comp going to look like? Is it going to be generally tanky? I don't know. I have no idea what our composition is going to look like at all. I'm honestly tempted to just grab the Aegis here. Because the Arcane Boots, like, again, the Aegis doesn't make you win more. But these are not super impressive. I think I will grab it. And here, I think I'm going to sell to go up to 30. I think the knight is the least likely addition here, the Chaos Knight. Maybe? Warlock. I fear no crew. I mean, we can, now that we've locked in our interest, we can consider that. I mean, maybe maybe we consider some sort of pivot to mage. Although, most likely what's happening here is we're just sitting with a lot of money on our bench that's not going to go anywhere. We might lose this one. Nothing's more rewarding than that feeling you get when the body stops. That, that regen armor is working out pretty well. I mean, it might be nice on Bounty to help them finish. There's a lot, a lot of their guys are just really low. But, yeah, and not enough dead. Rip win streak. I guess I could have leveled, too. 
That didn't occur to me, actually. And I probably should have there. Or no, I was at 30. I was like, I'm just seeing 25. No, no, I was at 30. I got the interest, and then I bought some stuff. So yeah, no, no, that's okay. I mean, I guess. Still don't know what we're going to do with it. Thanks for believing in me. I don't think that's happening. I guess I didn't have to do it now. So, uh, we could go like mass human mages as like a pivot. The humans would generate tons of mana, and our mages would get their shit off a lot more. Well, let's assume that at this point, I don't know if Scrappy's happening. At the very least, we don't need to go up to that bounty hunter. So do this, do this. We'll, like, mix assassin. We don't have any other insect stuff going on. Although Puck could maybe pass as an insect. <laughs> Sorry, Puck. I think we are going to win this one, which does make it a little annoying that we lost the one to, like, break the win streak. But, I mean, we were still beating most people, and obviously they're improving their board. Um, we just happened to run into the person who had our number. I mean, there are some more assassins to pick up over here. But I do like assassins a lot, because they do counter healing. I guess there was only one person going assassins right now. So it's not that much competition. And I don't even know how strong mages are at this time. So, I mean, we're close to leveling up, but I think... That's good, and I don't think we're really anywhere where we want to sell anything. So you know what? Let me just do this. Um, we're not one away from any kind of synergy being activated here. I'll just throw you in. I don't know. It's probably not the ideal, but... Get rid of Witch Doctor. He's got a really cool ability. And if he's getting extra mana from all these humans around, that's good, but we don't have room for like absolutely everyone in the game. So we'll just we'll just assume we're gonna get it. I wouldn't mind um, picking up um, like a clockwork to replace bounty with. Clockwork could be another sort of frontliner for our mages in the back. So unless he does a really weird thing with his um, waveform, I think we've uh, we just got this. Okay. No one's level seven yet, which I mean it would be really early for that. I mean, Bounty's doing good damage, but I, and right now, which is like, well, why would you replace him? Yeah, but I don't think he will. Um, I could sell those two, but other than that, if we're going mages and humans, like the rest is not really sellable, unless I just sell the bounty hunter now. You know what? I'm going to do that. I'm going to throw you in. You're a two-star. And yeah, so she frostbites people, huh? Which is nice. We've got human synergy, so we're getting extra mana generation. Which everyone on my team will appreciate. Well, except for Hobgen, I suppose. He doesn't use mana. Yeet. You see how Hobgen is now like our, our primary source of damage because we've lost other sources of damage. You think you can hunt us? That being said, it's not too shabby. I'm not going to pick up more knights. I mean, we could even without um, having access to, uh, to Luna. I mean, the knight synergy is still nice and tanky, but it's not really what we're building around. Um, especially, we don't need the Chaos Knight or the Bat Rider. A other knight to get a low level knight synergy would be pretty handy. We get the Demon Knight Sven. Like, just go for one of the, the high-end ones that's going to be pretty crazy sauce. Actually, Demon Knight would be pretty good. Or, sorry, Dragon Knight is what I meant to say. Because, Dragon. I can see us doing that. Falcon Pony Show. This could give us the edge we need. Um, do we kaboom here? Yeah, because I think... 
think we'll appreciate the... Actually, I'm not, I'm not sure that was correct. Yeah, hot rod for the, um, the faster attack speed. Oh shit, I'm at a really... I should have sold a tusk. I didn't realize our, our money situation here. Denied myself a gold because I was profuffling so much about which ability I chose. But my logic was partially like, um, with mages, there's probably going to be a fair amount of AoE, although there isn't now. Maybe I'm I'm dreaming that. And I was like, oh, so more AoE is better because you sort of want a critical mass of of that. Uh, blade mail. That's what I was talking about before. Um, and yes, I think that's the answer. So out of our guys here, yeah, Timber's got the most. I mean, you do have some self heals. So that might be a thing that pays off, but I'll put a blade mail on you. Crystal Maiden at your service. I don't think I want to reroll at level six. I might sit on the extra money with the idea that we're just going to level up early. We might be able to level up, like, on round 17? Yeah, we might be able to. If there's no purchases, we might level up on 17. We might level up again on 20 for a quick up to 8. Because we it does feel like we're going to be shopping for some higher tier units. There's nothing low tier we need to complete. In fact, I, there's not even any reason for me to keep these tusks around. Having those tusks screwed up my interest that turn. Um, tusk is not part of our future. Four warriors is, but tusk is not. We want Tide Hunter. That's going to be a big one. So you're going to see a lot of people, like, not quite dying with the fire effects. I mean, the heal is partially compensating there, too. But the um, the fire, don't think can kill people. I think it leaves them at 1 HP. So, maybe. I don't think the sniper. Okay, let's do that. Okay, yeah, we'll throw you in here. You, If you get the armor, that would be so nice. The armor and regen, just so that you can blade mail for longer. As far as me, like, put you behind for more anti-assassin stuff. We're gonna win. Um, I don't, I mean, scaled, we do have scaled right now, and we will have scaled later. I mean, okay, so what are we doing? Viper, maybe? We You're not an assassin anymore. You're just scaled dragon. We do have scaled, and we do have dragon, so I guess you'd fit everything, this is which is kind of interesting. Magic has no place here. Come on, humans, what am I bearing you for? Come on, humans. Nice. Uh, that's a three-star... Oh, Nature's Prophet. Yeah. I'm taking a little bit more damage, but still not bad. You got Throm, Thorm here at 36, and still level six as well. A lot of level sixers. Yeah, I think I kind of like the idea of trying to hit level eight at 20, which is a natural uh, break point, or, you know, the end of 20. Although... Will be granted salvation. I am the crystal maiden. We don't have Lena in. There's going to be a lot of purchases here, obviously. Um, you know what? I don't know if we're going to care about activating scale. If they're not scared now, I think that might be better. So we lose our scrappy bonus, but it doesn't mean that much. Like with this many people and things like that, and at this stage, the basic scrappy bonus isn't that significant. Whereas getting the Laguna Blade activated is pretty nice. You can see, there you go, Lena, second place in the damage. Not gonna be enough though. 
don't know, maybe we're too squishy. Hmm? By not having a scrappy bonus. I don't think that was the issue. At least we still got full interest. The game's like, not sure it wants to let us go up to level 8 here. Losing streak. Um, yes? Mysteries of the deep. Hmm. Why don't I just frontline everyone? And I know we don't we're not gonna have full interest here, but I don't want to sell anything. I mean maybe I don't need all these timbers. Now, I mean, we could activate Mage Bonus. I'm not sure that how much that matters. I don't know. Everything that's in Peel here is magic damage. So, Hobgen does a lot of magic damage. So, having people take 40% more actually might be really important to prioritize. Even if it is only a one-star puck. Twenty is about to start. Okay, well this round actually doesn't matter as there much. I take friendly you. fire. Let's do this just for now. <clears throat> We're not gonna get that slardar. But yeah, we will level up uh, this round, which I don't think will allow us to stay at fifty, but I think we'll up our power level a fair bit. Let us get some wins, which will compensate for a little bit of lack of interest. And also put more pressure on other people. A bit of a tempo thing. Yeah, we'll have 40 very safely, but yeah, unless we sold some stuff, we're not gonna have 50. We need to keep the guy with the armor alive, but yeah, the freezes and stuff are doing huge things. We just ripped that guy apart. That was amazing. Okay. be married to the scrappy stuff either. I mean, he's nice because he does do pretty good damage. And I think it's all magic now. It's not like... I don't think some things are weirdly physical. Um, none of these are useful. Although, we don't have any healing. I might just be more than you. Mr. Clockwork. Because I think, if anything, we're just going to go for just a higher end something or other. I don't know. We can't activate Inventor. Like, yeah, the Inventor and Scrappy uh, bonuses I don't think matter. We're just going to be happy that Timber's a good frontliner. I mean, Clock's okay, too. Wow, there's a lot of shit going on all of a sudden. All over the place. Definitely going to lose that, and pretty handily as well. Do I want a front line? I always have a hard time figuring out where I want to put the healing ward. My power is yours to command. We are going to start really rolling here. Hello, Stop. Kunkka. I don't know if scaled combo is going to happen. I mean, we can keep Slardar around, but 
We don't need his armor stripping. I don't think. I actually don't know if corner striding is correct here. I mean, there is someone with a shit ton of assassins. Actually, there's two people with a shit ton of assassins. Okay, corner striding is correct. That ulti almost always ends up way too late. Um, yes, I'm not going to pick up the Slardar. I mean, really, at this point, the odds of getting more Tiny is pretty low. We might keep Tiny around because he does provide some CC regardless. What is this shit? Can we just keep going Mega Rerolls? I think yes. Give me a loyal crew, and I will give you glory. I'm going to help the whole team. Uh, let's pull out Puck. Excellent. Now, the question is, are we going for six uh, mages? Mm, not at level eight. I bring winter with us. Four humans is nice for the mana gen, so that we do get off things sooner. Like the Lich ulti. Yeah, priority might just be all about the rerolls here. Try to get Kunk at a two star, Lich to two star, find out that's a Tide Hunter. Those bombs are not going to save the day. Wasn't a devastating loss, but it's still annoying. I think this guy's on a five win streak, and we almost beat him. It's actually not terrible. So, new to Slark. This won't take long. I was going to say, we probably sell pop. Okay, now the game's like. How many mages do you want? And I'm like, yes, I want all. Well, I guess I can buy you. Another metamorphosis. I mean, if I end up selling you, then we'll lose money, but. but the results speak Maybe I get rid of the timber saw. Yeah, which is a little annoying because we spend money merging him. We're going to lose uh, two gold there. Get rid of the timber saw. I mean, seven armor is still pretty valuable. And we can plan on, maybe we go to level 9, so we can have three warriors and six um, mages. Okay, we're not critical here. We can maybe level at 25. I think that might be the way to go. Um... Oh, so, hold on. The last mage would have to be Ogre Magi. Who would only exist just for the magic debuff. And he's tier 1, so he's not going to come up very often here, but... There are a lot of them in the pool, at least. Uh, explosion no longer damages and instead drains 50 points of mana or hype. Mm. Molten armor is pretty good. We can put Hobgen a little further forward. Just make it more AoE. I don't know, the armor is really nice. No to any of that. Can we push for 9? We'll increase the chances of seeing the Lich. I mean, it triples our chances of seeing tier 5s. Big boat. Nice combination there, play. It's almost like Tiny and Kunkka had planned it. Lich ulti. Throw you in. 
Well. Oh yeah, you're human. Um, you're just here providing some human vote and being tough. You know what? Let's get rid of you. Do that. We're gonna s wait and see if we're gonna spend all our money on some units here. Um, that could be kind of nice. Or second scythe of vice. Or not second, sorry. Right, I, I was thinking the pushback. Um... We'll make them remember our names. Go bring us up to 40, and yeah, I'll make that purchase. So yeah, she'll pick someone who goes after her. <clears throat> is ready. Although this is not one of the people with assassins, it's someone else running some mages! Druids and mages. Blowing a lot of our abilities here and not that close to finishing these guys off. Why does your meter seem to have four spots? Yeah, you never got your ulti. I was like, oh, with the armor, he's a little tougher, but not tougher enough. Okay, 38. We're not on the cusp of losing. I mean, he's still kind of protected here. He's not on the front lines or anything. Is anyone else we'd want to put the... Uh, no, I think that's okay. Um... My power comes at a price. Dude, yeah. Hmm. Okay, we're gonna buy you. Um. There we go. Something like that is good. His ability is just like too amazing. The Chrono Cube is really good. There's probably it probably another ace we'd replace him with, but for now. As long as my sister don't think we're gonna grab the puck. Down, I'm still trying to hold off, like, spending all of our money. Because there's tons of people still in here. There's a lot of game left if we want to do well. On the other hand, the sooner we maybe finish some stuff, the better. We are level 9 now. I think you're getting your ulti off, which is gonna hit over there, which is good. And, yeah, that should be us. Your armor and your regen is kind of annoying. Oh, there you go. And the massive amounts of stuns that are going on. Uh, I'm actually somewhat tempted to sell the timber. He's got no synergies. Just sell him to put us over 50. Put you in there. Drop you in there. Um, actually, we'll put the spike armor on you. And the four staff there so you survive a little bit longer. Get a couple of boats. Sort of a weak comp right now. We're gonna win. I, know it. I might lose this one, but it's hardly gonna... It's not gonna kill us. Chronosphere into boat, into another boat. I mean, there may have been a little too much overlap there. Nice that we got all our spells off before the um, static field or whatever it's called went off. Although, I don't think there's going to be a victory here, unfortunately. New. No. That's going to be fairly damaging. Jesus. Okay, we won't die next round. We have enough for that. We still have the Aegis as well. Um, and then there, round 30 is a minion round. I want to spread out some stuff? What do I want to do? I'm not sure. There's the Dragon Knight. Which maybe. 
will make a fitting sheep. I mean, we are going to do some more rerolls, but I don't need to. So, actually, we don't even have a dragon in play, and we don't really have room for you, do we? I mean, going up to the six humans doesn't really matter much if you're not getting other synergies. And if anything, it's going to be more mages. Again, a token ogre magi just to trigger stuff, maybe. Or maybe we just stay with the three mage synergy. I mean, it might be more mages because they're good and fine. And then just pick up some more random um, ace units and tier five units. Yeah, all of our AoE is just barely not killing people, which is really bad. We can get a refresher orb on round 30, put that on the Lich. I would be so happy. It's a cooldown on that anyway. It's actually really short. Wow. Because so I think he got it off three times, that combat. Maybe the refresher on him doesn't matter. He's generating plenty of mana with our humans. Hmm. So round 30. No real pressure. And then... And we'll, so for now, we'll try to stay at 50 a little bit more. Because we've got at least... We've got three losses. Or third loss would probably kill us. So one brings us within death range. The second one triggers the Aegis. Third one kills us. So we have time. We don't have to worry about spending below 50. So we may as well milk the interest. Although the sooner we do it, the more powerful we get. Any chance we want to go up to 10? I don't think so. I need to my Silences, I think, is what we want. Yeah, we don't need strip away armor. I mean, the stun... And, no, yeah. We need... We need... Um, spend as human... You have the sword so you have the eight. Okay, well, what we're going to do is we're going to do that, like this. He's also scaled, which is interesting. Scaled human knight. I mean, I don't think I don't think that matters. I don't think we're going to the six humans, so having five doesn't really matter too much. And actually, we could consider pulling out a human of some kind. I don't know who that would be. Yeah, we don't really want to remove. All our, our humans are pretty. I mean, maybe we don't need Sven then. I mean, he can enrage to do lots of damage, and he does cleave, but does he synergize with us in any way whatsoever? Answer's pretty much no. This is kind of annoying. Um, crits can't miss, but... I don't know, I'll go Moon Shard. Although, oh, when you're in the orb, when you move faster, I don't know if you attack faster. I see. I kill in Malrog's name. They call me Puck. Hope we get to get big this time. Do I just replace you? Do I just replace you? Actually, I think I do do that. Not now. Um, but yes. Because we need to put... Oh yeah, Puck's not in battle. I say I don't care about the warrior bonus anymore. But the thing is, all of our warriors are huge CC machines, AOE CC machines. Um, I guess we could get rid of Puck. Or sorry, um, um, Tiny is what I meant to say. His AoE is less impressive than Kunkka and Tide. I'm not sure that's literally true. Let's 
pretty sexy as well. Um, you know what? Fuck it. Only I am fit to replace Mama E. Something like that. I don't remember who else was maybe going to be removed. And what about Disruptor? This plan isn't working. Yeah, I don't think there's room for Disruptor. Unless I get rid of Sven. Yeah, I think get rid of Sven, put in Disruptor. That makes way more sense, right? A skill bonus is nice to prevent us from taking damage, though. Like, 30% reduced magic damage. But you know what else is good at uh, preventing magic damage? Silences. I think that's the logic I'm gonna go with here. And the fifth human part doesn't really matter. The knight doesn't matter. I don't think this is gonna trigger the Aegis. Because we sort of want to, like, get the most value of the Aegis in a way. Um, yeah, I like that. I also... I think our comp's got to move around here. Um, hmm. It's like, don't you want Sven? No, dude, no, sorry. Because you're, you're the ace of knights, right? Hold on. Yeah. Enigma really sexy too, but no, we have to... I need you, and I need Lich. And Coddle. And finishing you. We'll stay at the 11 here, since we know we're not going to die this round, because we have Aegis. We'll mark it for one more interest, because it's unlikely that one more click would have done it, and might have just led us to some really awkward sort of buy and sell. Good boat. Decent Chronosphere. Cr chrono Cube. Which is actually what it's called in here. The healing on the Eidolons there. Do we win? I don't know. We still have 10 HP, so we don't need to win. This is I don't think this is gonna trigger yeah, our Aegis. So we get another round, which right now is sort of enough. Well, fuck, game. I hate you, too. Okay, well... We're not going to be in a position to be able to buy both. I mean, we don't have to buy it right now for the start of the round anyway. But what do I sell? I mean, we still we still kind of need to two-star that. Do I sell the Disruptor? Just to be able to afford to buy these two? And put some other... Guy in there? Do I lock? I don't know, I really need the rerolls. I actually kind of like the idea of... Oh, there's a death. Selling Disruptor so we can buy them both, and then hopefully complete some some big shit here. Yeah. Oh! You ass butt of a game. Oh, I have, I have room. I didn't need to sell you. I missed the buy. We would have had, we would have had the level three lich. Well, okay, maybe the one it showed me is the one it showed me last time because when it regenerates on a reroll, it keeps the things from showing up twice, but not on a round change. Let's imagine it was the same lich we saw twice. Even though it probably wasn't. Oh yeah, we do have the full mage thing, which is nice. We do not have the Aegis anymore. 
So, if we lose the next round, we're just dead. This guy's got 72 health. It's full of assassins. Which is good against mages, but... I think we got a Radiance. Um... I just put on the Lich, because he's sort of in the middle of things here. It's a little weird. Alright, that's pretty good, that's pretty good. Here, assassins that go after Lena will get shoved back. So the assassins jump back, they're going to start getting burned. Well, not right away. Oh no, it's two... Uh, what is the range on it? Two cells away. No, so no, they won't right now. Ah. Actually, invite one assassin to come in there. It's not so terrible. It's not the assassin round anyway. See, you get the instant tide thing. Um, well, I guess you're keeping a three-star lockdown. It's only one, and then there's a second uh, chrono cube. And a big giant boat. Big Laguna Blades. Alright. Very important victory. Now, when we merge this guy, we will have room for someone else. There's nothing... I mean, Dragon Synergy maybe, but it doesn't matter that much. Yeah, so if an Assassin lands here, he will get burninated. Depending on the timing, the Assassins might land while he's still here, which may or may not be what we want. Um, do we even reroll here? I'm not sure that rerolling for the CM is critical. And if we reroll, we might not be able to afford the faceless. Although... Okay. I was like, you know what? If I have to sell one CM for faceless, it's okay. Because, yeah, I was like, oh, but maybe we're going to get... Inch okay, so we're against the guy with a massive, super-duper win streak with all the assassins. Come, come up the way we thought. Good lockdown there. Bouncy, bouncy orb. Except the boat. Oh, we are getting faceless on the other side. But overall, I'm kind of liking how things look. Yep, okay. Big win. Take that win streak. I mean, I could buy him, but it's not going to happen. I think it would also be nice. I think it would be a good put to put in for the faceless here when we do merge you, which is totally going to happen. Just stacking on massive amounts of CC and AoE damage. Coddle coming in at the top of the damage. Lich as well, not really surprised. Radiant's doing a, like half of his, the same amount as just his casting. Um, yeah, because we can sell the horse guy. Let's light something on fire. Yeah, because we can still sell the horse guy, which is what we're going to do here to activate CM. You know, I'm not just a mana battery. I'm an exceptional mana battery. You're not a mana battery at all in this game. Do we want to put this on something else? Actually, yeah. Uh, let's put it on you. More friends to play with. Also, the attack speed item. So 155, 170. We'll probably put the moon shard on CM instead. Same thing happening here. Oh, it's going to be double double chronoed over there, which is really poor. Poor use of our CC. On the other hand, the AoE is real. And it is the most important thing when there's so many things on the board, like there is now. Free win streak. Okay. Still looking for that faceless. Um, so that just unlocks your phasing. I don't know, the dragon's kind of nice. Uh, I, I do need to reroll for the faces, though, right? Yeah, I won't be able to buy you. Uh, I guess I'll reroll one more time, because if I see him, I could sell both to buy him. But I did not. Cool down. Six seconds. 
All right, a little overlap, but not too bad. Oh, we're getting chronoed back. Oh, okay. Lots of uh, chronos going around. Lots of faces. They have two two-star facelesses, and we're working on our... No wonder we're having a hard time completing it. Still, I think the two faces are okay, except... Yeah, there we go. If I had realized, maybe I would have sold the faceless and replaced it and just kept going with the disruptor. Uh, oh, hold on. It's only Eidolons here. And an AoE. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna be fine. I thought we were dead. Whew. He's at one. Troll round. Alright, so we're definitely surviving this. Um, in which case, I will sell the Dragonite for interest here. Um... And yeah, if we see um, Enigma or Disruptor, maybe we just sell both Faceless Voids. I mean, not instantly, but we sell them or trade them and, and figure something out. Because there is technically another Faceless we could get to maybe two-star him, but it's fairly unlikely. And the thing is, it doesn't matter that much. It's an extra second in the cube, but that's about it. And obviously he'll auto-attack a little harder and have a little bit more life. Not that he's had any problems actually getting off his cubes at any point. I, I really, the, it's kind of weird, but the um, the Radiance on the Lich is doing pretty good for us. We may not be able to beat these guys, though. They are so crazy sauce. Yeah. Still, that's okay. We don't actually take damage. AC on this guy is actually quite good. Now I really want to finish him. Or second Lich? Mm. No, I think I like the Faceless is more than the Lich here. Techies from Explosions? Maybe. Uh, there we go. I will join your cause. Disruptor, Disruptor. Um... I don't really... Right now, these are better. Like, the one star, I'm going to stick with the Disruptor. I guess I could have rolled again and maybe seen it. Like, I think... When we're talking about one stars is this, but given... It's just because of the lack of being able. Like, the CC is better than the Silence, although the Silence does provide more AoE damage. It just does not. That is kind of annoying. That is actually a really long fucking stun. Nope, there we go. Uh, yeah, he's not going to chrono cube a second time. Take him out! Okay, good. And that'll be the death of Sally, unless they've got the, um... Yeah, he does. The Aegis. The Aegis definitely paid off this game. So we could sell the Faceless to get more rerolls, but... And I don't even mind selling the Ogre Magi if we need to, because he's just there to complete a set. Um, it... No. Because we don't have anything that synergizes for attack damage. Ugh. Well, I mean, the Assault Cuirass. But I like the idea of, like, he's going to be debuffing everyone who's around him and buffing his friend while they're both in the Chrono Cube doing huge damage. So just me and him now. Alright, top two. Is there a repositioning to be done? I don't know. We sort of positioned because he's got a lot of assassins. Although, I was going to say, we're going to get Chrono Cube. Uh, splitting into two groups is probably well worthwhile. Although, it looks like we have a pretty good comp against him. Do I even want to move? If we went with one here... Although a good Chrono Cube will kind of ruin our day. I think splitting into two makes a lot of sense. Uh, 
Although the heals, yeah, I don't know. Um, put you. This is the same thing we had before. And the structure ulti over there, yeah, I should have split. Charging the AoE. Which about to die? Can you get off your ulti one more time? No. Alright, just barely, but we got it. We gotta do more damage to this guy. Yes, splitting is gonna be correct, even though, like, I was just the healing ward. That's the thing, I don't usually get healing ward because I find it so awkward to, like, work out the best way to, well, make them work. They're obviously gonna jump forward. Now, there are more faceless voids in the pool now, which is kind of nice. They don't look happy to see us. <clears throat> I wonder if there's any way we could have focused on killing this disruptor. I don't think there's anything like that. But it's kind of a shitty boat. Good stuff over there, though. Like, he's just only CCing one dude who's already used his ulti. Now, by splitting into two groups, it might make it, like, less good to get a really good uh, laser horse. We're still, like, we're not winning hugely enough for him to take tons of damage. Completing the win streak. Wow. Are we just rerolling to a faceless here? Uh, oh, this is round 45, so it's, yeah, it's just a mini round. So let's just sit on the extra interest. Completing the faceless would be huge. We could start to maybe collect pieces towards someone else. To three-starring someone. I mean, that's obviously a million miles away. Yeah, really the only thing is try to finish this the faceless void. Reach the end game. <laughs> Mm-hmm. So we got the Year Beast. Round 45. This is a great cleave. This might be one of the latest um, I've ever done since the big update. This might be the latest I've ever done since the big update. Luckily we have a lot of range. We don't necessarily have a lot of consistent damage, but... No, looks like we are going to get him. What are we looking for? You know what we're looking for? We're looking for the you can have a plus one dude on the board item. Does that still exist? I know the you're presented higher level dudes is a thing. Which might be okay to try and increase our chance of getting some tier five stuff or something. But if we could get like you can have a plus one dude on the board. I think Shiva's guard. Um Placed on whom? Someone who's going to be fairly durable. You know what? I think there. And then I guess we can just end up with the moon shard on one of these two. What's your base damage? 85, 90. Um, actually, let's do that. Hang on. Uh, put the moon shard on you. Put that over there. There you go. Um... Rerolling now doesn't make a difference, because it's not going to help for this round regardless. Lockdown, good bounce. Alright, that's going to be a lot of damage from this time. Not dead yet! Does he have an Aegis? No. Coddle at 28,000 now. 
The increased attack speed doesn't mean much on him. I don't think the Troll Warlord's got a place here. No. I was gonna say if we if we find Faceless, I could sell the Lich. Let's give these fools a quick death. So we might win here, or maybe he's repositioned his stuff well enough to counter some things. I mean, he's he's definitely playing around a lot with that. Uh, I was going to say, is that going to prevent the boat? But it did not prevent the boat, which is going to be... A... Yeah, oh, shit, no, we just got ran over. Yeah, uh... Let's just down. Big laser horse. Nope. Did you always have bugs? Here we... Oh my god! Well, we didn't kill him. Fucking spiders, man. Alright, we'll have to make some sort of adjustment. because I don't want to get demanded on my boat generation here. Did he just merge? I heard the sound that he merged something. Do I just get rid of the faceless for a second? Which no. What? Wait, what? It's not too late for you to swear on dying. <laughs> nice time. Uh, wow. What the hell? Is that a. Green white. Well, we fought hard. Well, low health for a long time. So, you know, good on us. Hey, let's go crazy. Hobbit into silence is attack range now 8. In supercharged and all its upgrades. It continuously switch targets to units that are not on fire. Oh, that's kind of interesting. If you just, if you know you're going to get that, but oof. Folks, thanks for watching an episode. This was a long one. We went a lot of rounds. And it didn't work out. I mean, maybe my attempts to move some things around were bad, but, I mean, it was looking bad already. Maybe I should have just left everything the way it is. Maybe I should have just gone back to corner striding. Maybe. I don't know. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye-bye.